Welcome to the University of Illinois College of Medicine. This is the Chicago Campus Tour. Right now, we are in the College of Medicine West Tower Lobby. Within this building will be about 95% of everything you will do in your first two years of medical school. This tower used to be home to the anatomy museums, but since has been replaced by offices. The anatomy lab is still located on the seventh floor, where students have 24-hour access to work on cadavers on their own time outside of class. Down this hallway is the Office of Student and Curricular Affairs. Here, students can find advisors that will help them through matriculation to the match and graduation. Now, after going up the main staircase, we are directly above the College of Medicine West Tower Lobby in the second floor study room. This space is normally used for quiet study, but occasionally is used for class time. Down the hall, there are small study rooms that students can reserve 24 hours a day for small group study or clinical skills practice. They are located on the second, third, and fourth floor. Further down this hallway is one of our main lecture halls where large group lectures are held. Lectures are formatted as flipped classroom where students receive preparatory material online prior to class and then spend class time asking questions and reviewing the material with professors. This lecture is then uploaded online for students to review on their own time after class. Students have access to lectures for all three campuses from Chicago, Peoria, and Rockford. Now we are on the third floor of the College of Medicine West Tower in Suite 310, or as we like to refer to it as, the glass rooms. These eight glass pods are ideal for small group study in those random down times about an hour or 45 minutes in between classes and meetings. These rooms are in high demand because they are on a first come, first serve basis. This is one of our TBL, or team-based learning rooms. Half of our class is on each floor, and TVs and microphones are used to communicate between floors. Physicians and faculty specializing in the topic of discussion staff each floor to answer questions. During your M1 year, you spend a significant amount of time with your TBL, so you get to know your team really well. Just down the hall is the fourth floor lounge where students socialize, eat lunch, and use the space as a non-quiet study room. Extra food from lunch talks or meetings is usually left here, so be on the lookout. We also have refrigerators to store food and microwaves, an oven, and Keurigs to prepare food and coffee. We're in Edelstone, which is the medical student lounge located in the basement of College of Medicine West Tower. Here's another area with refrigerators and microwaves to store and heat up food. This area also has a quiet study space and a non-quiet study space. And there are also lockers free for medical students to use. These murals were painted by the UICOM class of 2019 and new additions are made each year. Here is the Library of Health Sciences. It has quiet and non-quiet study floors and spaces. Students can reserve study rooms, which is great for taking weekly quizzes as groups. Each semester, students get $15 credited to their account to use for the WEPA printing service. Just down the street is the Polk Pink Line, which is one option students can use to get to campus. Several bus routes also run through campus. As part of tuition, students get a U-Pass to use for the L and the bus. The Student Center West is just across the street from the College of Medicine West Tower. In here, you'll find food options such as Freshie, Subway, Starbucks, and Farmer's Fridge, as well as microwaves and cafeteria seating. In the basement, there's also a barber shop and printing and photo services, as well as ID services. The gym is right next to the Student Center West. In your student fees, you will have gym access to both the West Campus and the larger undergraduate East Campus gym. Both offer free classes such as spin and yoga, basketball and racquetball courts, and swimming pools. Just behind the West Campus gym is the Jesse Brown VA, which is one of the many hospitals that students are able to do a clinical rotation at. Also on the West Campus are other professional schools such as the College of Nursing. The Colleges of Dentistry, Pharmacy, Applied Health Sciences, and Public Health are also here. College of Medicine students have the opportunity for interprofessional development through interactions with students from other colleges during the Transitions to Clerkship course, M3 orientation, networking events sponsored by the class board, and during some medical colloquia sessions. We are standing in the lobby of the College of Medicine Research Building. 
Research opportunities run the gamut from basic science to translational, clinical, quality improvement, public health, global health, and more. From here, we are less than a block away from UI Hospital. UIH is a 485-bed hospital and a level 2 trauma center. The hospital serves as a referral site for the severely ill within the city, state, and world. It also serves as a primary academic site for students during clinical rotations. The outpatient center is just across the street. Founded in 1987, the UIC Simulation and Integrative Learning Institute, SAIL, was one of the first standardized patient centers in the world. In 2007, a generous gift from Dr. Allen and Mary Graham enabled us to expand SAIL into an integrated simulation center that utilizes a wide variety of simulation modalities. SAIL facilities include 22 clinic rooms, six mannequin simulation suites, one simulated OR, large procedural skills labs, and many classrooms all equipped with AV recording and playback capability. The facility is utilized extensively during the medical school years. Taylor Street is the main street that runs through Little Italy, which is less than a 10 minute walk from campus. Many students live around here, especially M1s and M2s. Taylor Street has lots of restaurants where you can grab lunch or dinner with your friends or your TBL. There are also some popular study spots like Starbucks and Lures. Class board and different student organizations often host mixers, fundraisers, and other events at Vintage and Hawkeyes. Thank you for coming along with us on this tour. We hope to see you on campus soon. Thank, Thank you. you.